viable to viable, or not viable even to highly viable. Uh, for example, this location, where you can see the, the red part on the, on the left, is turning into a high viable situation as soon as the road network disappears there. Of course, we cannot let the road network disappear, but you have to interpret it this as if the road barrier effect is taken away, mitigation measures are put in place. And by comparing these maps with each other for all these species, we can find places where we predict population, the population uh, viability shift will occur. And that are great that are great locations to do something. So actually, uh, by using this method, uh, we identified or defined defragmentation locations on all these places where there was a shift between non-viable to viable populations, non-viable to highly viable populations, or even from viable to highly viable populations. All these locations were mapped. Of course, in such a complex situation, uh, with a lot of habitat, all over the country, um, you will have situations, or almost every situation is like this, that a change or a shift in viability can be reached in multiple ways. You can connect with patch number one, with patch number two, or with patch number three, as is illustrated here. Let's say you have this little gray patch, which means it's not viable. You try to make it viable. So what you want to do is to link it to an already viable habitat patch that species can exchange between. And in this case, you have two options, uh, the one uh, on the top and the one down below. So where to go? Where to put your mitigation measure in place? In the model, we use the continuity measure to calculate that. That's the great thing about the model. You don't have to do the calculation yourself. The computer will do it for you. We use, um, or we determine connectivity uh, by the size of the source population, the size of the target population, the distance between populations, and the resistance of the intermediate landscape. So, to keep it simple, when two habitat patches are closer together than to others, it's better to select the first. Or when you can link your habitat patch, your non-viable habitat patch, with a habitat patch that is big, it's better than to do it with one that is small. So back to our example, connectivity degree is much higher at location 2, so that would be the preferred location to do the mitigation to get your result in that small habitat patch to make it a viable one. We run this model for uh, the Netherlands, and this map kind of indicates what it will do if uh, all the locations that the model identified are mitigated shows you that there is some habitat uh, where no fragmentation problems occur. There is yellow habitat, or, or the habitat in yellow here. It means that whatever you do at rows, it will not do anything uh, with that particular patches. It will have no improvement in viability. Or an improvement for one species, the red areas and the purple areas, improvement for more than one species. And it's quite a bit of red purple in this map. So if we start doing things in Holland, we might expect quite a bit of improvement in terms of population viability. And then you come out with a, with a map with a lot of locations um, pointed or identified by your model, and then the next question immediately, of course, is yeah, but how to set priorities? Where should we begin? We cannot start everywhere at the same time. We use mainly two criteria to assess this <coughs> using the model again. Uh, the first one is um, to make a distinction between direct and secondary change in <coughs> habitat to sustainability. So it's, it's a bit of a, well, a small example here. Let's say the model is using the threshold for sustainability, for viability, um, that you need 100 animals. If you try to connect patch number, uh, the, the middle patch, and the one on the right, 
with 50 and 25 animals, you don't reach that threshold. So even if you make a connection at location two, it doesn't do much with your viability, this example. But if you first start with uh, location number one, you connect the 50 animals to the already viable population on the left, they will turn viable, and in the second step, you make the mitigation on the right, <coughs> you will be able to uh, also make the small patch with 25 animals on the right uh, viable. It's just to show that can look at it in several steps. You can look at it with the model in three, four, five, or a hundred steps. We decided 